What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video giving you the top five reasons why I use Arch Linux over other Linux distributions. As I stated in the intro of the video, I want to talk about the top five reasons I use Arch Linux. And Arch Linux is very popular nowadays. It's one of the more popular Linux distributions that a lot of people talk about. And I'm not one of those people that follow trends. I actually found Arch Linux through a distribution that I was trying out called Anteragos. And Anteragos was super cool. I really liked it. Uh, and once I found out it was Arch based um, by obviously using it and trying to understand how it actually works, uh, that made me want to try Arch Linux. And that's how I got into Arch Linux. Now, Arch Linux is one of those Linux distributions that are a little bit difficult to actually set up and get, get up and running. But once you get the hang of it, or once you've been playing around with Linux for a while, uh, it may come to you as a challenge to actually install Arch Linux. Because the major difference is that you install and configure the system, you know, from scratch almost. But this is the first distribution or Linux distribution that I've been using for a long period of time. I used to jump around a lot. I used to use different dif different distributions, play around with different ones. Um, but this is the first distribution that I've actually stuck with for a long period of time, like I stated. But let me go down and get to the list of the top five uh, reasons why I use it. Now, number one, and this might be a little weird to some of you guys as a number one, but my number one reason for using Arch Linux is the Arch Wiki. Now, if you guys didn't know, most Linux distributions, they all have their own kind of wiki or their documentation. A website where that goes through how to actually use the operating system you know and a lot of them are you know fairly detailed or real really detailed but to me the arch wiki tops them all in my opinion i've even used the arch wiki for other distributions like let's say i've run into a problem uh with a specific application i've searched the arch, arch wiki for that problem and found a solution for it and actually fixed it and that's one of the cool things about the orch wiki you can you know it's very detailed uh when you first install orch what you want to use is the orch wiki to go through the installation of orch linux uh it details everything out how to actually install it and you don't really need any help other than reading that wiki if you just sit there and take your time read the wikipedia uh it walks through the installation process very thoroughly and they have links to other areas let's say you want to customize your install uh via like lvm let's say you want to set up your partitions uh by using logical volumes and all that good stuff um they have everything linked uh to the areas that you would need to make all those changes to the install as you're going through it so it's very dope is very detailed the arch wiki is number one in my book when it comes to uh the help or the guide for actually using the operating system i haven't seen another distributions wikipedia that actually is as detailed as the arch linux wikipedia now the next thing or my number two reason for using arch linux is that you actually build the system yourself and that kind of ties into the arch wiki uh you go through if you read that arch wiki they have an installation guide and it walks you through the full installation but that rolls into my number two reason which is you know building the system yourself uh basically you can customize the system however you want to uh and set up your operating system based on your requirements and you don't have to worry about extra software being installed on your system that you don't need uh this is almost like kind of like a server a minimalized server that you're building from scratch and putting a desktop environment on top of it uh but like i stated that installation guide is super detailed you can just go through it 
uh, and that'll actually help you understand how the operating system actually works a whole lot more just by going through that full process. You know, for instance, uh, setting up the boot manager. That's one thing that I actually was lacking on in the past, but by going through this guide, you know, I was able to understand Grub a little more. And it's a lot of other little things that I learned along the way while installing the Orch Linux uh, operating system, you know, from scratch and everything. And then you had an option to set up your own desktop environment. You don't have to worry about the ones that are preloaded on other distributions. You can choose whatever you want, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I mean by the customization or building a system yourself, that, that full customization that you have of actually setting up your operating system on your own. Now, the next thing I want to talk about that's super cool in the Orch Linux operating systems, and one of the reasons why I use Orch is the package manager. Now, this is, like I said, super cool. The package manager, you know, is very great. Uh, it's easy to use. Uh, and what the package manager is, is similar to apps package manager in Ubuntu systems or Debian systems, you use that apt package manager. Well, the package manager for Orch is Pac-Man and it's super simple uh, to actually transition over and actually use. Uh, it uses options instead of, it uses more options instead of uh, the full words that you would use with like apt. Uh, you know how it's pseudo apt update? Well, with uh, Pac-Man is pseudo Pac-Man and then dash capital S Y U. And to me, it's kind of quicker on the keyboard, uh, than just typing out the full words, uh, using the app package manager. And I know it's about the same amount of text, but I don't know. To me, it's a whole lot better, uh, on how you actually type it all in. And, you know, it, it basically does the upgrade. And, and that's another thing. You don't have to type two commands. Uh, you know how it, Ubuntu, you have to type sudo apt update, and then you have to type sudo apt upgrade. Well, with Orch, it's one command that will update your system, and it's that sudo pacman dash uh, s capital s y u, and it will refresh the packages or refresh and look for any updates, and then update the packages. Uh, and yeah, you have to push yes. Uh, you want to install these packages. And just go through that little simple process but it's only one command and everything is done after that and also i'm one of those people that like to use the command line a whole lot more uh, than most and i don't prefer a graphical installer um, like a lot of the main major distributions out there use they have like a software center where you can go through and it's it's simple for new users to actually go in and just oh i want to install uh zoom or something and you just click the button and download download the things download and install the application through the graphical interface well like i stated i like to do things from the command line a whole lot more and so the commands are in my opinion a little bit easier to run or user friendly in my opinion if once you get the hang of using a terminal and also they have another, a lot of options. You know, you can query uh, packages. You can see what's installed on your system. And it's similar to the other, you know, package managers that are out there. You know, it has all those same features, but super cool. And that's one of the major reasons why I like Orange Linux. Now, after talking about the package manager, you probably know what my fourth reason for using Orange Linux, which is the software. And they have so much software in the Arch repository. And then they also have, you know, the Arch user repository, which is a collection of packages that are created by the community. And this makes things a whole lot easier. Uh, you know how in most uh, distributions, a lot of times in order to install a package from let's say github or something uh let's say it's an application out there a lot of times that package is in the aur for orch users so all you have to do is have a aur helper and you can install directly from the orch user repository once you have it activated and all that stuff you can you know download and install packages directly from the aur 
which is super cool so and then also the updates you know what i'm saying and any application you know that you install through the aur when you run the update command which is uh yay dash capital s y u then that will update your aur packages as well so you don't have to you know re-download anything from github or rebuild the package from source you know what i'm saying you can just run that updater and it'll update your AUR, AUR packages. But like I stated, they have so much software in there. It's a shame, bro. Uh, so check that out. That's like my fourth reason for actually using uh, Orange Linux is really the software. It's, it's unmatched by any other distribution. Uh, I haven't seen uh, this collection or this amount of collection of software, you know, provided by distribution anywhere else so now the last thing i want to talk about is the rolling release that's my last reason for using orch linux now i know this is being adopted by a lot of other distributions but in my opinion orch linux you know yeah i've been doing i've been using it for a while and so i've really gotten used to that rolling release uh i remember back in the day when i was a ubuntu user uh anytime they had an upgrade or uh, a new release of ubuntu uh, a lot of times you have to run the upgrade command and that'll upgrade you to the latest and greatest of uh, lts of ubuntu and i always stuck to the lts's but that's how you upgrade you have to go through and uh, run a command and it'll upgrade your system and this requires a long process of actually it'll basically go through and update everything on your system at that one time uh, and try to upgrade it all to the next version of ubuntu well sometimes and this has happened to me multiple times but sometimes when you upgrade uh and i'm pretty sure they've gotten a whole lot better with this but when you upgrade uh <laughs> sometimes it will fail and a lot of times you will end up having to reinstall the operating system or install the latest version just as a fresh version on your system well with arch linux one thing that's super cool about it is roll and release you don't have to upgrade to a latest version once you have arch linux installed uh it just keeps right on rolling basically <laughs> so it, it'll roll right on with the upgrades the kernel updates uh all that good stuff it'll keep rolling uh, you know forward but that's like the last reason I like uh, Orange Linux or I use Orange Linux over other Linux distributions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you can, please go on and share this video so I can get it to more people. I'm trying to build my channel up. I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So try to help your boy out uh, so I can get to that goal. But I hope you guys have a good night and keep it techy.